Okay, okay, I'll go back a little bit here. He started up the van and was just about to uh, turn around when suddenly the cop car's lights flashed, lighting up the area. Come out with your hands up. Your van is reported as stolen, boomed the voice of the cop, becoming the pol patrolman he truly was. A, wor a very worried Al Dean said to Yeshua Yasser, He's just playing with us, brother, isn't he? He knew that he knew this van was stolen all the time and is just playing with us. He probably even knew we spoke English all along too. They all looked at the Muslim cops in their cop car, hoping that they might be able to think of something. Instead, they just looked nervous themselves. He's a cruel, evil cuffer cup. He's a cruel, evil cuffer cup, said Yeshua Yasser, staring straight ahead at the snowy canyon. Brother, said Wali Aldin, if he re if he searches the van, not only will he find the blood of Ataf, he'll see all the weapons and bombs. He'll find the vests. What will we do? Yeshua Yasser looked about and said, It is time. He looked at Ziad Jabur and said, Hand that box with the number written with the number four written on it. Hook the wire to the socket. That will make it work when I press the button to dial its number. Are we going to become martyr? asked the young looking Muslim with great fear in his voice. Are we going to become martyr? Inshallah said a hopeful Yasir, Yasir, Yasir in Arabic, meaning Allah willing. Jabir had the bomb in his hand and just looked at it. Get out of the van and put your hands up, or I'm calling up for backup, commanded the cop from his patrol car. We kill and are killed in Allah's cause, Muhammad, said Yeshua Yasser. Is this life the important life? No. It's nothing as compared to the next one. But I won't set off that bomb until the cop gets close enough. Get out of the van, demanded the cop. The Muslims didn't budge, but just looked straight ahead, praying to Allah for a miracle. After a few minutes of refusing, the cop walked over to the Muslim cops and said, Do you want to prove to me that you aren't jihadis by doing a vehicle search? Oh, are you, or are you afraid you won't go to paradise if that thing is loaded with bombs and you die working for non-Muslims? The two, the two Muslim cops looked more nervous. They got out of their squad car and walked over to the van under keen watch from the cop who definitely wasn't Muslim. The two cops began to nervously talk to the group in Arabic. One asked, Do you have a flash drive? Do you have the flash drive of Kabashi? We failed, brother, said Yoshio Yasser with disappointment in his voice. Kabashi was armed and a better driver than we planned for. The other Muslim cop then said, it's no problem, brother. There's still a fee. And if she fails, the brothers south of here should definitely get the passwords. The passwords. They will get that flash drive. Yasir then asked, What are we going to tell that kafar? The first cop thought then said, We'll act like we are uh, going through all of this. We'll tell him that there are no bombs and guns. You will then be arrested for not obeying the law as we secretly try to clear out the weapons. But Sheriff Jamal should let you go free soon. If that evil cover cop accuses us of not being truthful with finding your 
finding you clean. We will accuse him of being the hater of Muslims, which he clearly is. May Allah burn off his skin twice a day in hellfire, forever, not just once. The two Muslim cops began to search about through the van. After uh, after a 10-minute search and acting like they found nothing, they started walking to the non-Muslim cops to tell them what they were to tell them that they were clean with no weapons or drugs. As they approached the cop, they suddenly felt sick when five other cop cars began to arrive on the scene, along with a police van containing two very special German Shepherd dogs trained for sniffing explosives. The only relief the two Muslim cops felt was when they noticed that two of the approaching cop cars had Muslim cops inside them. By now, there was a pretty sunrise over a misty, cold, snowy canyon. The cop got out of his car, totally ignored all Muslim cops, and walked over to one of the cars that had fellows that, that had fellows who were his longtime friends. He whispered to them and said, Just members of the religion of peace, acting creepy again. Their van is showing up as stolen on the computer. They acted like they uh, didn't speak English, but uh, when I tricked them by uh, asking them for where they were where they were from as if they were walking away as if as they were walking away the pretty boy blurted out something that nailed it to me they do know english by the way sergeant ahmed the lieutenant mohammed searched their van and surprise surprise didn't find anything like hell they didn't find anything i knew they'd say that even before I called in for the bomb sniffers. The cop in the search, uh, the cop in the driver's seat asked, what will we do? What will we do if uh, the dog starts scratching and barking? I'm going to have one of our Muslim buddies lay it out. I want video rolling. This will finally be proof that Islam is a threat, and that even Muslim cops can't be treated. Can't, even Muslim cops can't be trusted. This, I feel, is a godsend for us. Maybe this can keep Islam from taking over so fast, said the cop, trying to act like he wasn't excited. The cop in the driver's seat said to the one in the passenger seat, the reason why Islam is taking over is because we just haven't played cowboys and Muslims yet. The cop in the passenger seat then nearly shouted in an angry whisper, Well, we sure in hell better start. The whole damn country, hell, the whole damn world is on the verge of having its patootie in the air. The cop at the wheel burst out laughing and said, Patootie in the air? That is just so right on. D did you make that up? No, I heard that... I heard that Muslim in that car complaining about it. He said it's going around on the net like a computer virus. The cop at the wheel laughed again and said, Patootie in the ear, man. I, I love it. Suddenly, suddenly as the police sniffer dogs were put in the van, suddenly as the police sniffer dogs were put in the van, they immediately started scratching and barking at stuff. Yeshua Yasser and the others looked ho looked horror-stricken to see the dogs doing their job around them, and the Muslim cops in their cars looked horrified as well. One of the Muslim cops turned to the other and said, Oh my Allah, he can't detonate the bombs with those dogs about him, or he will send himself and all those brothers of ours to hellfire. The cop who first showed up on the scene shouted, Bingo! He laughed and shouted, Bingo! They do have bombs on board. And guess what? I knew, I, I know a little bit about Islam myself. There is no way any of those guys can blow themselves up with dogs about them. If they die with a dog, it's like dying with a pig. 
They believe they go straight to hell if they die with a dog. <laughs> That's why Oblabla flew his dog on a separate plane and not with him on Air Force One. And the cop danced a little jig. He then ordered his fellow cops to back up just in case the Muslims actually blew themselves up with the sniffer dogs. The cop, after dancing a little di dancing a happy jig on video, shouted out to the camera, Do you see this? Do you see this? These Muslims, these, these Muslim cops over here, right here, said there were no bombs in that van. They taqiyad, folks. You know what that means? They lied. They are all... Yeah. He said, do you see this? Do you see this? These Muslim cops over here, right here, said there were no bombs in that van. They taqiyad, folks. You know what that means? They lied. They are lying to all of us. So they will eventually saw our heads off. Saw our heads off when they feel they can, they can without backlash from us. The Muslim cops just sat there in their seats looking horrified. One turned to the other and said, Can we shoot that cover cop? Can we shoot the cover cops? Say it was the brothers in the van. The Muslim cop sitting in the passenger seat turned and said, This is a nightmare, brother. I think it's the only thing we can do. Sheriff Jamal should cover for us. I sure hope the other brothers join in here with us. Aim for the head, brother. We all have on vests. And the cop who arrived on the scene first shouted out at the shouted out at the camera on the cop car as he recorded. There was desperation in his voice as he thought about the line from the movie They Live and recited it. They are going to be our masters. Wake up. They're all about you, all around you. Suddenly a gunshot rang out. The bullets just missed the cop's head head the cop turned about in horror and saw the muslim cops the muslim cop aiming to take another shot as he as the his as his uh, brother in the faith faith grabbed for the shotgun The Muslim cop let out it, the the Muslim cop. Oh, excuse me. The non-Muslim cop let out a surprisingly falsetto-like scream and ran to cover. Ran to take cover. Suddenly, the windows of the non-Muslim cops' cars started shattering as the Muslim cops fired at them. The Muslims in the van cheered Allah Akbar on the sh on their on the shooting. Yeah, the Muslims in the van cheered Allah Akbar on the shooting. As the non-Muslim cops fired back, the Muslims in the van shot the dogs that were starting to attack them and tried to shoot the non-Muslim cops as well. Suddenly, there was the sound of a helicopter circling above. It was a police chopper who couldn't believe his eyes at what was taking place down on down below taking place down below him. The fellow in the seat next to him was Muslim. On the highway, the drivers of cars and big rigs heard the shooting and turned to see what was going on. One driver stupidly slowed down to observe the firefight and was suddenly struck by a car by a driver who did the same. A pileup suddenly began on the highway as more people rubbernecked to see what was going on. The pileup was made worse due to the ice. From the south, a trucker driving a two-tanker gas truck was looking at the sunrise over the snowy canyon. By the time he was looking at, yeah, by the time he saw the pileup taking place in front of him, it was too late to take control. The trucker slammed on the brakes to keep from hitting the car ahead of him. That was stopped, but he shattered the small electric car, swerved left, and then swerved. I've got to get off of here. 